YouTube, what is going on? My name is Kevin, the Tech Ninja. I may have a cold, but the great videos never stop. What is this white stuff? Anyways, guys, today I'm going to go over my top three favorite Android Wear applications. Alright, um, before we begin, let's talk about what we have on my desk, as I always do. This is the Oppo Find, oh, oh my goodness, this is the, <laughs> this is the One Plus One device, which coincidentally, right now, I have a giveaway for it. So if you're watching this video when it first came out, um, I have a giveaway going on, and it expires Sunday, uh, September, what day is tomorrow? September 21st, my giveaway expires, so make sure you check out that video as soon as possible. And this is the Moto 360, okay? Uh, we're going to go over my top three favorite applications. Let's dig into it right now. So the first application, since I'm already in it, we're going to talk about is called Wear Share. And the way Wear Share works, it's a mobile application where you can type in information and send it directly to your watch. You can upload a website, send it, send it directly to your watch, or you can upload an image and send it directly to your watch. The reason I find it very useful is that if I wanna send myself a note, let's say I'm going to the post office and I want to send a letter to someone or I wanna fill out a box or anything like that, needs to know an address for whatever reason. I can then send it to my watch and then I have it so I don't have to pull my phone out or anything like that. I have the content right on my watch. So to use it, you can just type in information. Okay, and then we go ahead and click on send to where. All right, and now my watch received the content. Whoa. And the information is right here on my watch. Then I can go back to open it to the phone or I'm done with it. I can swipe it away to dismiss it. Okay. All right. Um, same thing for image. I can then go ahead and open my gallery. And then I can pick an image and then I can send to where. My watch heard me say, okay. <laughs> And here is the image on my watch. Okay? It's a very simple application. Um, it works as it says it will work. Nothing else special about it, but this is just the way the application works. But it's one of the applications that I use on a daily basis, and I really can't see myself going without it. So, all right, the next application I want to talk to you about is the Wear Launcher. Now this one is called Swipeify. Now there's a few of them out there, but this one is my favorite one. I think it's more consistent and you have a few different options here. So to get to an, uh, to get to an application on your Android Wear device, um, the way they want you to do it is to say, okay, Google, start, and then you name your application from here. So, um, you know, that's the way they want you to do it. It works pretty good, but I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. I think you have to do a few things, and it's actually more things that I want to do to get to it. Um, so, yeah, the way that I do it, uh, I come here, press and hold, and then slide over. Now, this takes me to my application drawer. Oh, you can't see that. It takes me to my application drawer. If my application drawer, you can then go up and down and select your application and then go from there. Now, that's the way I like to do it. I think it's easier. Now, this application is called Swipeify. Now, there's another one out there called Wear Mini Launcher, but I like Swipeify better because you have a few more options in here as well. So if I go to Swipeify, I can then change the, the edge width. I can make it uh, smaller or larger. I can also change the type of launcher. I can make it a floating launcher, which means I just press this up here and then get to my launcher at any time which may be convenient for some people if they have an issue launching it. Um, also, there is a uh, radio launcher. Ooh, radio launcher. And then from here, you can uh, just press it, hold it, and then you can select what you want from here, just like kind of an old school clock in a circle format. 
Um, you can also go to quick settings from here and make your adjustments to like brightness and anything like that as well. Um, so yeah, and also you have music control that you can get to quickly. All right. So yeah, uh, that is uh, the second application that I can't live without because um, it makes things a whole lot easier. And also the third application is If This Then That. Now that's more than just an application that sits on your watch. It's an application that is, well, it uses your phone to launch different tasks and it has different channels. Now I think I need to do a video on If This Then That in general on how to use it, um, but the premise of it is quite simple. Uh, so if this then that has several channels that are applications. So for example, there is a YouTube channel. Um, so that means when a person uploads a video that you like, it'll put it on your watch and tell you about it. You can set up different things like that. So when you have a package on the way, it will send a watch notification because the Slice service has a channel. So different applications or websites have channels which then can trigger off different profile so you know when it's raining outside because weather has a channel when it's raining outside then it will send a notification to my watch but the watch portion but the watch portion of that is a little bit different and it goes into more um, depth you can actually set things from your watch directly okay so here it is, um, the Belkin Wemo, which is a light switch. It has a trigger, so I can turn my lights off and on by using this. Or I have a trigger called Express, uh, excuse yourself with a fake phone call. So you can set up different triggers from your phone, from your watch, to send tasks automatically. So, <clears throat> excuse me, when I get in the house, I can then turn my lights on by pressing on this button right here. Or I can excuse myself with a fake phone call by pressing this right here and then my phone will start to ring automatically. So yeah, so that's it. Um, so those are my three applications that I cannot live without. Uh, you know, as of right now with Android Wear, it's still in its infant stages. So as of right now, there isn't that many applications on there that are things you must have. But I think for what it does, as far as giving you your notifications and providing that for you in a quick and efficient manner, I think it does it just, just well. Now, there are a few applications out there that do a little more than I think it should do. And it digs into the, um, the system a little bit um, more than needed. And it makes some tasks that you can do on your phone in two seconds, a 30-second task on a watch. So... These are my simple applications, top three that I really enjoy. As always, guys, my name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great videos and giveaways. Take care, guys.